Uh, I would love to thank Chris um, because it was, a, it was a really nice segue into what I'm going to talk about today um, when the projector comes up. So as a little background while we're waiting, uh, I uh, helped found a company called Kickstarter.com. And um, we're really focused right now on, on helping fund the arts. Uh, and uh, one of the first people I'm going to talk about is a Tedster, Jill Sobuel. Um, some of you might know Te uh, Jill. Jill was you know, in the record industry. She had a big one-hit wonder, although I'm sure she'd hate if I said that. Uh, I Kissed a Girl, the original one, um, about 10, 15 years ago. And uh, you know, she, she had success, and she had a lot of really rabid fans. Uh, bounced around from record label to record label, and you know, really found the experience very unsatisfying. So Jill had an idea, and she built a website with a friend of hers about a year and a half ago, and decided to go to her fans and try to raise money for her new album. And she had really very low expectations. She built a website. She had her mother write the introduction, because she was a little bit nervous about asking for help. And Jill raised $80,000 from her fans in, in three months. The album is done. The fans had a tremendous experience that they helped make. She offered the, the usual stuff, you know, the CD, you know, um, uh, concert tickets. And then she also offered stuff like you would sing on the album if you gave you know, a large enough amount. And she'd call you on the phone. And so she learned things that were of a low cost to her, but high value to her fans. And it wasn't just her fans. People who found out about what Jill was doing became interested and discovered Jill through this process, through this narrative, uh, like Chris is talking about. Uh, and, and so Kickstarter is, is a way for, for creative people to do this on their own, so they don't have to have a friend who built a website. Uh, and, and we give them the tools to kind of create these funding campaigns and connect with their audience. So I want to take you through a few of them real quick and just show you the kind of stuff that's going on out there in the world. Um, this is Designing Obama. This, uh, Scott Thomas, who was the creative director of the Obama campaign, decided that he wanted to publish a retrospective of the work that they had done uh, during the campaign. And so he decided to forego uh, the publishing world and self-publish. And so he used Kickstarter to go out and raise. Uh, yesterday it ended. He raised $85,000, offering limited editions of the book. And he now completely owns uh, this project in totality. You know, he doesn't have to conform to whatever the publisher wants to do. It's all on his own schedule. And he's correct connecting directly with, with his audience to fund his project. Um, and it's not just about art, and it's not just about you know, leaving a development industry that exists, and, and now that it's getting fractured and we're finding our own ways. Uh, this is Emily Richmond. Emily's 24 years old, and she's about to leave to sell around the world for two years uh, by herself. And, um, and she decided to try to raise the money uh, from her audience, which is her friends and her family, and people who've you know, had a taco with her once, and, and you know, people when she went to school with, and people who just know her and, and, and love her passion. And, and a lot of people in the sailing community discovered this online and, and got behind her, and she raised this $8,000 to, to circumnavigate the globe, which I've been told has been done less than people who have been on the moon. Um, this is a, a favorite of ours. This is a guy named Jerry Paffendorf. He's an artist and, he's a, he, uh, and an entrepreneur. And um, Jerry wanted to go to Detroit and buy property and resell it to people in inches. So he went over there and, he, and he's, you know, he's done all the legwork and he's, you can see behind him, he's, he's got his scale. Uh, and he's literally selling these inches. You can buy them at one, you could buy a, you know, a square, a yard, and you can put stuff on your inch. You can put a plant, you can do what you want to do. Um, so, so Jerry decided to, to sell each inch using Kickstarter. And, and you see in this, in this project, he had 67 people buy different, different uh, shapes and sizes. Um, now, not, not every project succeeds, and one of the things we do on Kickstarter is you have to raise your minimum goal of funds uh, or people aren't charged, and this kind of keeps people focused on the goal. It doesn't force people to feel like they have to go forward and do something that's underfunded. Um, and, and this couple, the Fishes, the, they're, they're these great artists out of Los Angeles. They wanted to photograph every sizzler in the United States. Uh, and listen, 41 people also wanted to see this happen. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately it was not enough. Um, I think they're still trying to do this. And then, you know, I just wanted to finish with, with this last one. Uh, this is Wedding Chapel, if you can't read at the top. There's a, there's a pop-up store down in, down in the Lower East Side. They've been a, a drive-in movie theater. They've been a ping-pong parlor. 
and they decided to turn it into a wedding chapel. It's no bigger than the size of the stage. Uh, you know, they put flowers on the wall. Uh, they sold pre-sold weddings for anywhere from $100 for an hour to $500 for the hour plus a DJ. One of the employees became, uh, you know, a universal life minister. And they performed dozens and dozens and dozens of weddings down there uh, through the summer up until now. And they're still open if anybody wants to get married, fake married, or remarried. <laughs> Um, so, you know, it, all in all, I mean, this, what's going on here is really people are just deciding to, to forego existing funding channels, whether it's venture capital in the for-profit space, whether it's grants, whether it's rich uncles, and they're finding tools like Kickstarter to, to go on the web and to connect with audiences and bring them into their narrative and reward them with, you know, experiences and services and products and create a new, a new economy in that way. Thank you. <laughs>